During the past year, we've come a long, long way, and we have achieved a lot together. So let me say, thank you for your work over the last year and the many years that preceded it. You made this happen. You are living proof that service isn't separate from our national priorities. Instead, it is pivotal to solving them. But let me say, to borrow a phrase from the President, something you may have heard from him many times, we have more work to do. While there is undoubtedly momentum in the right direction, the problems we face are daunting. Our nation is still on the long path to recovery, and an oil spill, the worst environmental disaster in our nation's history, has once again devastated the people of the Gulf Coast who have met so much hardship with resilience and determination. In fact, it's in times like these that we need the power of service and social innovation more than ever. That's why the theme of this conference is it's up to you. As the President and First Lady have said over and over, government cannot solve these problems alone. We have to marshal the talents, resources, and ingenuity of people in communities across the country. People like you and the thousands, the thousands that you represent. There are many ways to make a difference, from military service to public service, from serving as a teacher, firefighter, police officer, or librarian, to running a local nonprofit that addresses unmet needs in a community. But the common thread is that those who serve do so for a region larger than themselves. They take responsibility, you take responsibility, not just for your own health and well-being, but also for your neighbors. Let me give you some evidence to support that statement. Is anyone here from Pennsylvania? That's right, Pennsylvania sounds like it's in the house. Let's talk about what's going on there. An innovative partnership between City Year, communities and schools, and Johns Hopkins Talent Art Development called Diplomas Now. The initiative is focused on solving the dropout crisis. Well, the program started as a pilot in a Philadelphia school and began showing very promising results, an 83% drop in failing math students, an 80% drop in failing English students, and an 85% drop in student suspensions. Because success should breed success, Diplomas Now has expanded to Chicago, Los Angeles, New Orleans, and San Antonio, and is looking to grow even more. And think about Youth Villages, which Sonal Shaw, the director of my social innovation team, visited in Memphis as part of our community solutions tour. So is anybody here from Tennessee? <laughs> All right, in 1994, Youth Villages decided to focus on a home-based model to help children struggling to overcome serious emotional or behavior challenges. Since then, they have seen remarkable results, with large numbers of kids integrating successfully into their communities while being served in a more cost-effective way. For that reason, Youth Villages can now be found in 11 states and the District of Columbia. Imagine if we could help every child with these challenges reintegrate into their community. Youth Villages tells us it's possible. These organizations show that innovation is about learning, changing, and improving. They are enterprising in their use of service and volunteerism, and they are driving real results. Whether it's turning around schools that are failing our kids, engaging our seniors in promoting healthier lives for their peers, or preserving America's great outdoors, service and innovation are integral to solving our national challenges. The message I bring to you today is this. Our success as a nation depends now more than ever on you. Your work to transform individual lives 
and communities is vital to finding new and innovative ways to meet our country's most pressing problems. The solutions you are developing in your communities can be used to strengthen, reform, and support our schools, help bring quality, affordable health care to everyone, build a sustainable energy future, and assure economic recovery, opportunity, and economic growth in every community in the country. To achieve at that scale, we have to come together. The public, private, nonprofit, academic, and philanthropic communities. We need to share best practices, share new ideas, and invest in what works. And we need to support a new generation of leaders who can build on the great progress we've already made together.